Hey, it's Unknown RC, and this will be a video about Skill Champas. So they have just been released. We'll probably make a big video about them because they they change quite a lot of stuff with skilling. But for this video, we'll only concentrate on hunting them because I want to release it right now, so you guys can make a lot of cash. Because right now, the uh, Crimson Skill Champas sell for about 3.5k each, which is simply amazing. So I want to make a video really fast, so you guys can. Um, on them while they are very high because I do expect them to to drop a little um, So what you will need is to have six box trap I assume that you're already high level in hunter so six box traps You also need a enchanted water terra from dealing with scarabs otherwise you can bring water skin um, And then you want to teleport to the bandit lodestone right here the bandit camp and then from there you will want to run southwest. Give me one sec and I'll get there. Okay, so from this location you want to run southwest and you will reach the um, the place where you on them pretty much. So yeah. So this is, um, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> It's just southwest of there. It's really quick, but anyway, you won't have to bank because the um, skill champa are stackable like the regular chin champas. So it's really not a big problem getting there. The only thing is the desert heath, so that's why you need to bring a enchanted water terra. So there they are. Um, to be honest, you catch them very very fast. The position of the trap is not really important. Um, they are couple stuff with hunter sometimes it's important for this time um, for this monster it's really not important you will you'll see how fast it is so I'll just put random traps there and um, yeah I think I'm getting unlucky <laughs> okay there we go and um, yeah I still haven't found a way to lure this freaking beer it really annoys me but anyway for those who don't quite remember how to hunt efficiently, long story short, if you just, your goal is to click near the trap. This is like advanced stuff, because after that you just, I mean, you just hunt them normally. But if you want to be efficient, you click near the box, so you are over the box, and you click on the box, and then you click on the next trap. And this um, will override the um, walk west animation, so you can catch a lot of them per hour so something like this it's been a long time since I've done my hunting and if you guys find a way to lure this bear I will really like it <laughs> anyway so as you can see it's really fast normally you won't really have any time to rest normally and um, so I'll be hunting them for a um, couple minutes to test out the experience rate and be right back Okay, so I'm finally done with the testing. So I was catching them at about 500 of them per hour, which is really decent. So this is the equivalent of about 230k experience per hour in Hunter and about 1.7 million GP per hour with the current prices. Um, so obviously this will change. I would recommend to hunt them, um, if you need cash, to hunt them over green walls. But obviously Dragon Link Dajinko are still a lot faster. Um, than this and um, now for the impact of the Chin Champa with the other skills um, like I was mentioning ch um, skill Champa also impact divination so if you use them for divination you get better um, divination experience and so on but I will not cover that in this video I will do that in another video after the once the price will be stabilized because I got no clue how much they will be worth because right now at 3k age I would not really recommend to use that for divination it's quite expensive even for a guy like me obviously if you have a lot of cash it, it's worth it but anyway um, so I'll make another video about that like I said the reason why I'm rushing this video is to to release it while the, the prices are still high um, so I guess that will be pretty much it about this video and another thing about the Arctic bear you don't really need to lure it you can if you want but um, if you go in the option there's an option called hide familiar options and this means you will not be able to click on it so this is very handy when you're training so I guess that's pretty much it about this video I hope you liked it and see ya